This week, as I was building out our Black Friday deals page, which is live now, you can get the link down in the description below, I ran into a challenge where I needed to target a few items inside of a query loop, but not affect all of the items. Now, doing this from the back end is really difficult. As you know, anything you put inside the query loop ends up showing across all the items that are displayed from the loop but I was actually able to solve this problem with a pretty simple solution using a custom taxonomy and just a little bit of CSS. This solution just takes a few minutes to implement and it gives you a ton of power and flexibility that you otherwise wouldn't have. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact situation I ran into and the solution I used to solve this problem. If that sounds like something that might be of interest to you, then stick around and let's get started. This will all make more sense if you can see it, so let's just dive in. Essentially on this page, I have some different query loops. The gold placements are their own query loop, the silver are their own query loop, and here at the bottom we have the bronze levels that are all in their own query loop. Essentially what I wanna do is call attention to the products that I've created. So we have everything here from Agency Copilot through to the website owner's manual. What I decided to do to call attention to these was do a little verified badge up in the top right corner of all these posts, kind of like what you'd see a verified Twitter user. But here on the back end, as you can see, this is all set up as a query loop. So there's no way for me to drop in an icon to just specific items. It's going to repeat whatever I put into one of these items into all of them. So I had to come up with a different solution. And it's honestly pretty simple. We'll jump back here into the back end and we'll hover over ACF. You can use the free version of ACF to do this and we'll click on taxonomies. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and click add new. And since naming things is hard, I'm just gonna call this origin. We'll do origins for the plural label and origin for the singular label. We'll go ahead and turn this on so we can have this a checkbox instead of more of like the tag system. Lastly, we'll just select the post type. I have a custom post type for my deals called deal and I'll go ahead and click that and we'll hit save changes. Now under our deals, we can see a new taxonomy here for origins. We'll click on that and we'll add our first one. We're just gonna call this internal. We'll go ahead and hit add new origin and we can see our new category here has been created. Now, of course, I could do external as well, but in this case, we're just gonna be using the products that I created. Next, we need to go ahead and assign this taxonomy to one of our deals. So I'm gonna go here to all deals. We'll scroll down to agency copilot and we'll hit edit. Now over here, we have a new box for origins and a checkbox for internal. I'm gonna go ahead and check that. We'll hit update and we'll go back to the front end of our website. Now at this point, you won't see anything visual changed on the front end, but if we inspect this page, we're actually gonna see this has done something. Here, if we inspect this first item in our query loop, we're gonna see that it's added a new class of origin internal. So now we know that we can use that class to target just the ones with that class on them. You can see we only did that to this agency copilot. And if we went here to the agency Airtable pack, it doesn't have that class on it. So with that knowledge, we can jump in here to the customizer and write some CSS. I'm gonna go ahead and open up our additional CSS and we'll scroll down on the page so we can see the one we're working with. Now here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do origin internal and we'll do an outline one pixel solid red just to make sure we can see that we're actually targeting the right thing. So we can see here, it's targeting just this one that we tagged so we know it's working perfectly. Now for my use case, I wanna add an absolutely positioned icon in the top right corner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a position relative on the box itself. And then we're gonna use a pseudo element to actually add our icon. So I'm gonna do origin internal and we're gonna do after. And we need to write just a few lines of CSS to get this working. So for position, we're gonna do absolute. For the content, we're just gonna leave it blank. We'll need to give it a width and a height. So we're gonna just say 20 pixels width and a height of 20 pixels. We can always adjust that later. Now we're actually gonna bring in our image through the background image. So I'm gonna type in background image URL, open and close our parentheses, and I'm gonna paste in the URL to our image, which I already uploaded to our media library. After that, to get this to show up, all we need to do is do our background size and set that to contain. Now you can see it's brought in our little icon here, but the position of it isn't quite right. Since this is an after element, it's actually coming after the element itself and we need to reposition that. 
Now, since this is absolutely positioned, this is pretty simple. I know that I've added 24 pixels of padding to this box. So I can just go in here and say the top is gonna to be 24 pixels. And to the right, I wanna do 24 pixels as well. And that's positioned it right here exactly where I want it. We'll go ahead and publish this. We'll exit out of the customizer. And the last thing we need to do is just add that taxonomy to the other products where we want the verified badge. So we'll go back here to the back end, under deals, we'll go to all deals, and we'll scroll down till we find all the admin bar products. Thankfully, we can do this through the quick edit screen. So I'm just gonna click on internal. We'll do the same thing for the prospect pipeline challenge, as well as the easy peasy proposal. And lastly, the website owner's manual. Go ahead and save that. And we'll take one last look on the front end. Now we can see when we scroll down to these bronze deals, all of the admin bar products have a nice little icon showing that they're kind of the verified product. Just to make that clear here at the bottom of the page, I've actually added a little note here that shows the verified icon and says it equals an official tab product. Now, of course, you don't have to be building a Black Friday deals page to put this system to use. There are all kinds of great ways you could actually implement this. Let's just say on your typical blog post page, you wanted to feature a few different articles that are of interest to your readers. Well, you could add a custom taxonomy, tag those posts, and then go in and write your CSS to just style those posts a little bit differently to make them stand out. Honestly, the only limitation to this system is your imagination, and there are all kinds of cool ways you could put this to use. If you end up using what I showed you here in this tutorial, I would love it if you'd come back and share a link with me. I always love seeing how these things end up out in the real world. If you learned something from this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, and if you wanna make sure to catch the next one, go ahead and hit subscribe, and we'll see you then.